Hi there, I'm Becky Hammond and welcome to Isogo TV. You are joining us for the very first episode of our second season. We are shooting here from New York City and we are excited about what is in store during this season. During season two, we are going to be using Strength Finder to fuel the marriage connection that you crave, the parenting grace that you need, and the work energy that really flows from a happy home. You have joined us here for episode 46, and this is the first in a series about balance. Balancing the busyness and hecticness of life. And we're gonna talk about how we use our strengths to help us get there in a way that really makes sense to us. Throughout this series, I'm gonna be referencing a, a free PDF download that you can find over at isogostrong.com slash itvbalance. This is a balance checklist and tips that you can use right away to follow along and to help fuel the balance in your own life. So be sure to check that out at isogostrong.com slash itvbalance. And for now, this is episode 46. Let's dive in. Recently, when I checked in with the Isogo community and I asked about the biggest struggle in life and work right now, I heard back an almost unanimous cry for balance from parent to spouse and professional alike, and totally unprompted, 70% of us said that we're all looking for meaningful time management and balance in our lives. For example, one person said her biggest challenge was making it all happen. I certainly can relate to that. One other thoughtful person said, I'm struggling with a meaningful and effective work-life balance that meets the needs of my family and lets me continue to succeed at work. I love that, I love that definition uh, of balance and really what they're going for there. Another said he struggles with keeping the pace and staying on task. Several more said they just need help managing their time wisely and staying balanced. So over the course of this series, we are going to tackle this concept of balance and really what our strengths have to do with our unique approach to gaining balance in our lives. You know, from my lens, and granted I have high learner, high context, we can't dive into the details and the how-tos without first chatting about what we're going for. You know, what's our end game here when we're talking about balance? So that's what this first episode in this series of eight is all about. So let's start off with a question for you to consider. What do you mean when you say that you're striving for balance? There are probably some ideas that pop into your head. Maybe it's about a sense or a feeling that all is peaceful at home. Maybe it's about an acknowledgement that you're doing well at work and your family isn't falling apart. Maybe it's about having time for everything that you value and you want to do. Maybe it's, maybe it's a, more of a sense, a sense of not feeling frazzled. Maybe it's getting the rest you need or getting done what you want to get done. Maybe it's making sure that nothing falls through the cracks. And one thing that has become clearer and clearer to me over the past several years is that this balance is elusive. In fact, I found that if I'm really honest, balance doesn't really exist. I, you know, in every season that we've had, we're married or single, with kids or without kids, in crazy work times or not, David and I would find ourselves saying, well, we're going into a busy season. But when every season is busy, I think that it means that life is just busy. We've, we've started using the term that life is full. So how do we maintain balance when the rush, the whirlwind is all around us? You know, we've come to believe and grasp that while it's all busy, balance is more of an overused word and a concept that's just not really a thing that can be had. Instead, we can create a rhythm that works best for us. A family work life rhythm that makes the most sense to us and the way that we're wired. So the, the dictionary definition of balance is an even distribution of weight, enabling someone or something to remain upright and steady. While rhythm is a strong, regular, repeated pattern of movement or sound. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. 
You know, there's no such thing as an, as an even distribution of weight in every aspect of life, that definition of balance. Your marriage, your kids, your parenting, your work, um, the time for school decisions and activity decisions and eating decisions and money decisions. It's like we would have a scale with 10 moving parts and maybe, maybe, just maybe, you could find a balance at one point, but when things move a bit, something on this side moves, all the rest topples and your balance has fallen again. So instead, what if we put the most important things in our lives, instead of onto a scale, onto a balance, what if we put them into a rhythm? A strong, regular, repeated pattern of movement, as the definition says. They're all moving parts. So let's create a movement that works for us. A rhythm that gets us to that peace, that lack of things falling through the cracks, the rest, the family time, the work time, the feeling of peace and not frazzle. And guess what? <laughs> it's not gonna look the same for all of us. That rhythm is not gonna look the same. The most comfortable rhythm for your family is different than my family. For your relationship with your spouse is different than my relationship with David. We use our values, our motivations, our passions, and our strengths to get there. So that's the foundation of this Isogo TV series on balance. So let's let that concept soak in for this week, that perhaps we're not going for balance, we're going for a rhythm. So think through, how does that settle with you? How does that jive with you this week? And to help us walk through this series, we created a balance checklist and tips, free PDF download for you. So if you wanna walk with us through this balance series, be sure to go over and get your free checklist over at isogostrong.com slash ITVbalance. Thank you for taking the time to connect today. If you found some part of this episode helpful to you or you had a little bit of an aha moment or you have some thoughtful questions about it, I would love to hear from you uh, over at Facebook or at our Instagram account at Isogo Strong. I would also love for you to rate and share. You can rate over at iTunes and share in your Facebook community where we can help get the word out about how we use our strengths to fuel healthy marriages, healthy kids, and an awesome work life that flows from that. So thanks for joining me here and I'll see you next time on Isogo TV.